Hey guys, welcome to my university. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the differences between applying for the fall and spring semesters. In general, enrolling during the fall semester is better for you because that is when the academic year starts. This does not mean that spring enrollment is bad. You just need to be aware of the following differences so that you can make an informed decision. Okay, the first difference, available seats. In certain universities, spring enrollment might be limited because they have filled the majority seats during the fall semester. Some colleges even do not accept applications for the spring semester. So if you are a spring applicant that wants to get into an university that does not have spring enrollment, then you have to apply during the fall semester. Curriculum design. In general, fall semester is considered to be the beginning of the academic year and hence it is very common to have a lot of introductory level courses during the fall and intermediary and advanced courses during the spring semester. So if you enroll during the spring semester, you might have a hard time finding easy courses. Internships. For most programs, you have to wait for two semesters before you go for an internship. So when you join the fall semester, you can apply for internship during the next summer. However, if you are a spring student, you miss the first summer. Okay. Now, there are certain universities where international students can go for an internship after the first semester. However, it depends on the program and the university that you are joining. The only way you can find out this information is by emailing the International Student Association in each and every university that you apply. I sent an email to UW Madison saying that I'm applying for MS in Mechanical Engineering and asked them if I can do an internship after the first semester. They clearly told me that the ME department does not allow it. So if you're a spring applicant, remember that you might have to wait for three semesters before you do an internship. New student orientation. New student orientation helps you understand how things work in the university and helps identify useful resources. Now, in certain universities, the orientation program might not be conducted for new students that join during the spring semester. The leases on your apartment start and end during the fall. Hence, when you come during spring semester, oftentimes you have to sublease an apartment. This is not a big deal, but you should know this difference. Alright, finally, funding opportunity. When a company funds a professor's research, the funding cycle is most likely going to start in the fall which means that the professor has to hire someone in the fall semester and if the student sticks around for two years, a new student gets hired again during a fall semester. The chances of this happening is more than 50% because there are more admits during the fall semester. However, by the same logic, if you enroll in the spring semester, you should be able to get some kind of a funding after your first semester. So don't worry too much about this point. Also, there are professors that have enough money to fund spring admits. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do give a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have a question, drop a comment and I will see you guys in the next video.